Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the second day of April 2021, going to start our day over here at JM Bullion and look at the live spot prices. Gold is up $2.29, silver is up $0.06, cents. platinum is also up at $1.48 there, and palladium is up $12.59. So I went over to the United States Mint website this morning, like I always do, and then I saw this huge red banner across the top of the screen. I said, oh boy, what's going on now? Went over here to the link. It's a COVID-19 update from the United States Mint. Ordering and shipping changes. Oh boy. This is what they call the setup in sales. So if you're, um, there's a lot of techniques to sales, and this is just one of them. Um, this is called setting the expectations. Oh boy. Ordering and shipping changes, product availability due to limited resources at our mint's facilities as a result of COVID-19. Some on-sale dates for products may be delayed. We encourage our customers to check the 2021 product schedule for the latest information. Well, they've already done that to the 2021 Air Force 2.5-ounce silver medal that was scheduled to be released, um, I think, in February, early February. And then it got moved to to be determined. It doesn't even have a season yet. Next thing they're talking about here that's changing is shipping. Due to limited resources around COVID-19 at the Fulfillment Center, your order may be delayed. We thank you for your patience during this time. We are making every attempt to process and ship your order as soon as possible. Now, limited resources at the Fulfillment Center in Memphis, Tennessee. What resources at the Fulfillment Center could they be lacking? Is it the coins? I mean... Uh, is it the shipping materials? Because I know they did change the packing material, um, and they 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 were doing some kind of bubble wrap for a while, and then they ship, uh, switched over to just regular paper and large piece of paper, not a construction piece, but pretty good size. Um, are they running out of those? Are they running out of cardboard for crying out loud? Um, there is a pulpwood shortage. We need to get most of our pulpwood in the United States from Brazil. And um, if there's a, sh a supply shortage there or a, a break in the supply chain, it could impact us here in the United States for toilet paper, paper towels, um, any paper products, really, uh, and even cardboard and packing material. So this just got interesting. Um, and it says here, continuing on, message from the United States Mint Director, David J. Ryder. Dear Valued Mint Customer, as the global impacts of COVID-19 continue to evolve, my top priority remains the health, safety, and well-being of the Mint workforce, the men and women who work hard to ensure you receive the highest quality products. As part of the federal workforce, we have and continue to follow all guidance provided to the federal government to include information provided by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, that's the CDC, as we do this, the decisions I make will undoubtedly impact the on-sale dates, availability, and delivery of some of our numismatic products. And you may also experience longer wait times when calling our customer service number. It is because of this I, that I ask you for your patience and understanding during these unprecedented times. I encourage you to use the United States Mint catalog site as your primary source of the most current information on product and service status. Thank you for your patronage and continued dedication to the United States Mint. Please do all you can to be safe, stay healthy, and to keep others safe. We are all in this together and we will get through it together. Sincerely, Dave. Um, there it is, folks. Ouch. Uh, I do hope everybody stays safe at the Mint so that they can keep producing the stuff that we really love. And, um, you know, I think that we just need to be patient with this. I mean, obviously, they could have come out with this in February, and I think um, the people that are upset now might not be as upset as as they are, or maybe they wouldn't have wanted to quit dealing, uh, doing business with the Mint. I don't know. But either way, um, I, I think this is good. I always think better late than never. Um, you know, I have a theory um, that we all screw up here and there, and that it's what we do after we screw up or our screw up that makes us who we really are. You know, if we can be, uh, make up for it, I think that's what it's all about. So we recognize and come correct better late than never. I always say, listen, I want to thank you all for dropping by today. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker.